Are you surprised? No. <laughs> I thought I was going to finish up with these two videos tonight, but it turns out I forgot something. The college football playoff rankings, the first set, come out tomorrow. And I'm going to analyze those rankings uh, tomorrow. Uh, so let's talk about, you know, let's talk about it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It's college football. Week number 10. The recap week, baby. It is going to be, it, it, it was an interesting week to say the very least. Of. So, Appalachian State, sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all, and Boone just can't enjoy a ranked season. He knocked from the ranks of the undefeated. Get out of here. And Georgia Southern does it again on a Thursday night. Baylor did not suffer that same fate, though. In fact, uh, Baylor gets a big victory against West Virginia. Uh, well, not really big because West Virginia is trash. But you know what? You know it was a defensive game. It's really been a defensive type season for Baylor. You know they've had some lower scoring games than you know the usual Big Twelve mold and everything. You'd think this week would be quiet. Oh no, Saturday. Well, first, we talk about the Naval Academy because they're now ranked two. They just beat the dog shit out of Connecticut. Just hurry up and get Connecticut out of here. Just Connecticut needs to go someplace else. They, they don't need to go to Division. They don't need to go to FCS. They don't need to go to Division Two, Division Three, NIAA, or, or junior college level. They need to just get out entirely. Get out. Just get out. This team is trash. Michigan, who cares? They're out of the playoff. They beat Maryland. Um, Wake Forest, gonna have to wait till Clemson comes here. I'm sorry, I don't care. They beat the shit out of Wake. Well, excuse me, they beat the shit out of NC State. Notre Dame, who cares? They're out of the playoff hunt as well. The, done. They they get a big victory against Richie Tech. Keep their, you know, keep themselves inside the. Top 25, Kansas State. It was Kansas. Who cares? You know, sure. Oh, no, well, Kansas almost beat Texas a few weeks ago. No, who cares? It was Kansas. I don't care. Kansas always finds a way to Kansas it up. I'm sorry. Georgia, Florida. Hey, hey. How about that game? I'm sure you were wondering how I feel about that game. No. Both these teams are just utterly incompetent at playing the game. Oh, my God, was this game terrible. So somehow, Georgia gets the victory. And somehow, Georgia's going to be ranked in the top six um, come those first rankings. I'm telling you, they're going to put them in the top six. But I'm guaranteeing that they're going to lose at some point, probably against Auburn. It's either going to be Auburn or the SC Championship. I don't think Georgia has the firepower. I don't think Florida had the firepower either. You know, both these teams were just god awful. This game was garbage. You know who team who isn't garbage though? Utah. Why are we not talking about Utah more? They went. You know, when they were struggling early on against Washington, you know, everything was. Everything was just, oh, well, oh, God, the Pac-12 is out of the playoff race. Oh, God. But then Jacob Eason throws a pick six, and that changed the whole game. That changed everything. And there was some bad clock management by Peterson uh, in, in like Chris Peterson in the red zone in that last minute and a half of that game. I don't know what in the world's going on with Washington right now. They've got four losses. And Utah is sitting pretty. They are going. They're going to be ranked at the top ten at, at the very least. You know, probably not top six where they yet. But they're going to be ranked at the top ten. They're closer. I don't know what in the world Joe Davis was saying. He's a part of the Fox broadcast queue crew. Um, that they're, they're like the number two team. You know, with Brock Huard and stuff like that. I don't know what in the world he was talking about yesterday. He said this multiple times, and I caught it multiple times. It was like, well, um. Utah is aiming for a Rose Bowl. I don't think Utah is aiming for a Rose Bowl. It doesn't matter. They're still in this. They still got a shot at a playoff berth. You can't count out the Pac-12 yet. Not yet. 
you can't write them off yet. Until Utah or Oregon has two losses, you can't write them off yet. Speaking of Utah, speaking of um, Oregon, on the other hand, they just beat the, they just destroyed U.S. It was not even close. Um, I mean, good God. Can, can you believe this team lost to Auburn, a mediocre Auburn, in week one? Can you believe that? No, I can't believe that now. You know, they have been proved they have played lights out since then. You know, they are just doing what they need to do. Um, Clemson took on Wofford. You know, that's the it, 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 speaking of top teams, the top five basically just it's like, okay, that's why this week was so bad because LSU was off, Alabama was gone, they weren't playing this week, Ohio State wasn't playing this week, Penn State wasn't. Well, Penn State, I don't think Penn State played this week, but you know, it was just a weird week. You know, Auburn's still kind of trash, to be completely honest. They only escaped Mississippi, Ole Miss by six. They only went by six. I'm pretty sure it was some Bo Nix inaccuracies or something like that. You know, you know, Bo Nix is not very good to me. He's really I don't care if he's a freshman, he's a he's probably he's a five star recruit. Five star, you know. Dude should be out here slinking dimes like Trevor Lawrence. But instead, he's playing middling football. And I don't know what in the world's going down, down, down there in Auburn right now. Auburn should have like four losses right now. Speaking of a team, well, not necessarily like four losses worthy, but Cincinnati had to survive against East Carolina. This is showing the depth of the American Athletic Conference right now. This is really... This week really told us that, hey, this conference is pretty good. Um, I don't know why nobody has paid attention to this for a long time now, but well, this conference is pretty good. Pretty dang good. They had to survive. East Carolina had to get a game-winning field goal to win that game and everything like that. And, you know, Cincinnati is still, you know, undefeated in the American. They got one loss against, guess who, Ohio State. You know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun times in America, let me tell you that. Uh, Boise State, you know, they still, they're still, you know, doing Boise State things, you know, even though they got the one loss. You know, they beat San Jose State. They had to beat them in a shootout, though. But, you know, Boise State still on this, still on this thing. And finally, we got to talk about it. We got to talk about SMU Memphis. Holy Toledo was that game intense. The Liberty Bowl was packed to the house. Bouchel, you know, he didn't have Roberson with him, but he had, uh, but he had a lot of he had a lot of help, you know, um, precise. Um, I believe that was the thing. Or Porsche or something like that. I don't, I don't remember names. I'm not good with names all the time. But he had a receiver out there that was playing lights out. And Memphis' run game was also playing lights out. This game was bonkers. This is easily the game of the year right now. Easily. You know, it, even the scoring was out of this world. Um, I know people were mad about, you know, the, 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 the covers, you know, like the um, – you know, for betting purposes, you know, they got the plus six on them. But I don't care about betting. I'm here to talk about final scores. And Memphis did way more than enough to beat SMU. So SMU is gone for the list of undefeateds, too. We are. Man. We are, man. We are. I, I, I don't even. I don't even know how to describe the game. I'm just I'm just gonna be real to you. It was an intense, intense game that gave us a lot of things to offer. Let me tell you that. SNU Memphis, they're still gonna be in the hunt for the American Athletic Conference title. They're still gonna be in it. They you know, Memphis has a tiebreaker right now, but you know, the American Athletic Conference is gonna be fun. And when that championship game comes down to it. 3.30 on December 7th on ABC, of course, because, yes, you know, they're the, at least the fourth or sixth, fifth best conference in the country. They're, they're somewhere around that range because the ACC and Pac-12 is still kind of high. But, yeah, yes, 
that's going to do it. That was a week. You know, the Pac-12 is still in it. The American Athletic Conference has depth, lots of depth. And Florida and Georgia are not going anywhere as far as playoffs are concerned. That's what I took away from this week. What did you take away? Let me know. Tell me something. Just tell me. Tell me anything down in the comment section or whatever below. That's going to do it for this week. Um, it's pre for this recap anyway. And we'll see you in a few minutes.